Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Frederick DeGray from H2O Innovation. How are you today? I'm great. Yourself, Patrice? Of course, just before we started this interview, we were discussing it. You're not, you know, you're not a tech company. You're actually a clean tech company. You're the kind of company that ESG investors who care about our planet should be buying. And didn't you just tell me you just had your best results to date? Exactly. I mean, we have published last week, you know, the best quarter we have ever announced in terms of financial performance, uh, both on, on the EBITDA improvement margins, on, on the growth, on reduction of our balance, of our debt on our balance sheet. So, Everything is moving in the right direction, frankly. And of course, those of you out there that are thinking about, you know, water, thinking about our planet, uh, we did a story today that was talking about how you are set to potentially benefit from President Biden's 111 billion water infrastructure spending plan. That was our conclusion. Are we right, Frederick? Well, we will certainly benefit from that. I mean, it's it's a little bit too early to see the impact, you know, the next month because it will take a number of years and months to see this money being deployed um, and, and start to, to hit us. But certainly, certainly there will be projects. I mean, we're already seeing, you know, how the, the shift is currently happening in the southern U.S. where there is a lot of new projects for water reuse. I mean, they had a little bit of snow this winter. So more and more they're facing, you know, challenges related to water shortage, you know, water scarcity, and it's just a growing concern. So investment will remain and, and we're very well positioned to capture that. Well, speaking of well positioned, you're also been an, always a very professional and a great interview. So I'm just going to run through some questions for you because you are always putting out milestones and news. So let's start with the two new projects and renews uh, for operations and maintenance contracts you just put out this last week. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, this is uh, this is quite nice. Very very happy. I mean, first we 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 want a new project in uh, in Texas, just around Houston. So we're adding to the existing mud clients that we have. So municipal utility district. So this is another one that we're adding down there. On top of that, we're extremely happy to see this new project just outside of Calgary being secured for a food and bev um, industry customer. So it's a large industrial customers that will be operating this plant. So very, very happy of this win because it's right up our alley. It's an MBR plant that we're going to run and operate for them. So this is a fantastic. And we have seen over three years or so, a tremendous evolution in our sales around you know, uh, Calgary area and uh, in Alberta. So this is a big milestone for us. Well, congratulations on that. And then further to that news, you announced earlier in the month, you're increasing your presence in Latin America and your North American with your focus on water reuse. So tell us about the Latin America and then jump right into uh, your water reuse because Matt Bolson was writing about that today for us. And he was, he was drawing investors' attention to this particular aspect of H2O for revenue. Well, for us, I mean, Latin America, we're starting to put, you know, the basis of our business platform there. Um, we completed an acquisition back in February 1st, the acquisition of GMP, which came along with also a branch in Chile in Santiago. So this is giving us the opportunity now to have employees of H2O working down there, covering the space on top of having a number of distributors covering the entire Latin American region. So we have now a total of about 20, 25 distributors covering the entire space, going after mining, industrial customers, municipal customers. And I think, you know, the best is yet to come in Latin America in terms of growth, in terms of water infrastructure, in terms of needs. So, so we want to be there. We want to be able to participate to the upcoming growth. We just hired a new VP, um, Alejandro Stolniolo, who's joining us also. We will put some in faces and help us out to better coordinate this effort towards Latin America. And of course, <clears throat> you've already got, what do you have, three analysts with my recommendations on you presently? I'm sorry, we have six, Tracy, now. Okay, so we have record revenues, we have technology, we have patents, you're, you're doing the number one interest we should all have on this planet, which of course is water. I have to ask you, if you were 
talking to an investor right now, what would you say would be the most compelling reasons why H2O should be in their portfolio today? And I'm guessing the stock is never going to be a better buy than today. Well, we just came out, and I hope it's the end, but we're just coming out of this unbelievable pandemic that, you know, impacted our personal behavior, that impacted our business, that impacted, you know, in our well-being, in our family. And, and we realize and we show, we have shown how we can navigate through this crisis. We have proved that not only our business model is the right one, but that the water space is key, right? I mean, people will continue to drink water. They will continue to flush their toilets no matter what. And this is what we're providing. So among all the different sectors, we're not related to a currency. We're not related to a commodity. We're just part of a, a growing concerns about water quality, water resource, water quantity. And this is what we're doing. We're just you know, building and building these new infrastructures and, and servicing these new infrastructures. So all this is starting to significantly impact in a good way our balance sheet and our PLN, making ourselves, you know, execute quarter after quarter and just improve our numbers. So I leave it up then to the investors to take their decision, but if they want to invest in the right space, water is the right space to invest. And H2O is definitely a company that stands out in terms of executing our business plan. Well, I'll tell you, thank you so much for joining us today. And after that finale, I'm going to set you up with critical materials expert Jack Lipton for your next interview. Thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, if you don't have H2O innovation on your watch list, we recommend you, you put it there now. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.